Resident Evil's been around for a long time. Resident Evil 1 came out in 1996. It is currently the end of 2023. They are well on their way to 30 years. And that is just insane to me. With that being said, a franchise as old as Resident Evil obviously has already figured out its formula to some extent, even though it took a very long time, Resident Evil 6. With being around for so long, a game like this, or a game franchise like this, eventually finds its formula, like I said. You can notice a lot of tradition throughout the series, things that worked and continue to work, and so they keep it. Something that you expect with every single Resident Evil game. And I think one that we can all agree on that comes to mind whenever you think of Resident Evil and tradition. It's Resident Evil Save Room and Save Themes. Every Resident Evil game without fail that has come out, like, ever, besides the spin-offs like Umbrella Core and stuff like that, and Reverse, every mainline Resident Evil game has a safe haven theme, save room theme, or even item box themes like Resident Evil Revelations. These save room themes have always been used to signify a place of peace where the enemies can't get to you, a moment to relax. And every single one of them is absolutely amazing. I can't think of a single save theme that I don't like from Resident Evil, but I can think of one that I like more than the rest that hits me real deep and has a very, very interesting history behind it. Resident Evil 4's Serenity is probably one of the most nostalgic Resident Evil, or any song for that matter, from a video game that I can think of. Resident Evil 4 was the first Resident Evil game I ever played on the PS2, and I remember whenever I was younger I would come to the church room, or the, the room right after the village where you first, like it's the entrance to the church, right? And I would just sit there and I would leave it on. And I remember some nights I would fall asleep listening to this, you know. And for many years I just thought it was it was just a Capcom original sound. Until I got older and did some research. And what I found, and a lot of others have found, is very interesting. It turns out that Resident Evil 4 Serenity soundtrack was actually made using a sample from a song called To Burble and Pine, a part of a album called Pandora's Toolbox. The man behind this work of art goes by the name of David Torn. He was born in 1953 in Amityville, New York. He is mostly known for being a guitarist, but he was also a producer and composer for other electronic music and ambient soundscapes, which would be the category that Tuberville and Pine fits in. Now, unfortunately, David Torn has never properly been given credit for his amazing work that has been used in countless games, movies, and TV shows, most notably Resident Evil 4. But... Capcom has actually used this in another game, Devil May Cry, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. No, I did not edit that. That's actually what it sounds like in-game. They scrapped Resident Evil 4's first project, turned it into Devil May Cry, and then even went as far as to reuse the same music. Now today, many, many, many years later, 
Resident Evil 4 Serenity seems to have a fairly strong fan base behind it, which is kind of weird to say that, because I know it's just, it's just an OST, but you'll be surprised at how many people really hold this near and dear to their heart, you know, this is a really important soundtrack to a lot of people. It's been remade, remixed, uh, slowed, pitched, sped up, I mean, they, countless, countless versions have been made by fans all across the world. Even I myself have made a few versions, which I will play right now and you can find on my channel. Alright, that's gonna have to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini, what would you call it, uh, what, what do people call these, um, types of videos? You see them all the time, like, there's one about space, the ocean, was like a video essay, I think that's what it's called. I enjoy doing these, I don't write a script for these, which is why sometimes I sound like I'm trying to think, I probably should write a script, but it, it just feels more fun to do it, like, raw, just going off of what's, what's in my head, and eventually as I, as I continue to do this, I'll slowly get better and better at it to where I'll sound like I have a script when I don't. So, um, I want to bring up another thing, which is I hit 100 subscribers recently, which is sick. I'm very happy about that. I am. I swear I'm going to do a 100 subscriber special. It's going to be Resident Evil 1 Remake, a uh, hard mode speedrun. If you're watching this in the future, the video might already be out. I'm hoping to have it out sometime within the weekend of this going up. So... Stay tuned for that, and thank you all again, really, for making this possible for me. I, I couldn't have done this without you all, obviously. Uh, it's very encouraging to see my numbers continue to go up, especially in the past month or two. I've done extremely well on YouTube, thanks to you guys. Um, I've gained a lot of great fans and, and friends from this, which is amazing. So be sure to look out for more uploads. If you're new around here, subscribe or watch some videos, see if you want to subscribe or not. Tune into the streams. It's always a good time over there on the streams. We're always having good conversation. Uh, I'm playing Resident Evil Code Veronica X right now. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, all that good stuff. Um, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.